getting good night's sleep can help your child perform better at school and boost their immune system as well. We sit down with community pediatrician Alicia Sheen to learn why sleep is essential and best practices when introducing nighttime routines at home. From a physical perspective, sleep is a time when we restore our body, we rest it so that we're ready for the next day. Also, hormones are produced during the nighttime, which are really important for children's growth. Um, it also helps to repair the immune system, so our immune system is stronger when we're getting good sleep. We're able to fight off those colds, germs, viruses, etc. Mentally, it's also extremely important as it's um, important for attention, for learning. So kids are able to concentrate and have better attention span and memory in school when they're having good rest at nighttime. Um, it also is very important for mood. And that amount of sleep can have a significant impact on your child's well-being. For teenagers, we really want them to be sleeping at least 8 to 10 hours of sleep at night. And then for the ages of 6 to 12, we really hope for them to be getting about 9 to 12 hours of sleep. And then in the ages of 3 to 5 years old, we really hope for them to be getting even more sleep, so like 10 to 13 hours of sleep. And then for these 1 and 2 year olds, I mean, we hope for 11 to 14 hours of sleep, but that's including nighttime sleep plus the night uh, the nap times but pediatrician Lisa Sheen knows getting to sleep and a nighttime routine can be the biggest battle the routine could be 20 to 30 minutes you're doing the same three to five activities every single night um, children respond really well to repetition and it gets their body situated and settled and calm dr. Sheen suggests a sound machine for quieting out noise or blackout curtains to create a nighttime environment and even reducing screen time one to two hours before bedtime can help induce calm vibes for your child. The blue light is keeping um, our bodies alert and can actually suppress the production of melatonin, making it harder to sleep. If your child has trouble getting to sleep or falling asleep, Dr. Sheen cautions against reaching for over-the-counter supplements. Instead, she suggests making an appointment with their pediatrician. While melatonin can be safe and effective in certain situations, we'd really want to understand why the child isn't sleeping. Are they having a medical issue? Are they having snoring or obstructive sleep apnea? There could be um, a mental health issue. Are they having depression or anxiety? Overall, creating a healthy lifestyle for your children can assist in helping them live their best life every day and night. That's all for this back to school special episode of MedWatch today. Please join us next week for more inspiring stories from Community Health System. I'm Amberlynn Carroll. Thank you.